Good to see you guys again. Welcome to Simple Chew Monday News. Today I got some three exciting uh, articles for you guys that that I found on the Wall Street that I want to share with you guys. And they are about Apple's one trillion dollar evaluation, Kraft Haynes. I got some exciting uh, uh, stories for us and, and news and. Also, I want to give you guys, there was an article about how as consumers, we're getting tricked with the percentages on, on stores. And I want to go over about on those. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, if you're into investments, uh, personal growth, and business development, I consider you to subscribe. Stay tuned, guys. <laughs> Welcome to Simple Chew, I'm your host Hank, and today I'm gonna go over a couple of articles with you guys that I found on the Wall Street Journal. Some exciting news about investments and uh, budgeting trick that's going on on the, on the consumer side. So by now, most of us have heard that Apple got evaluated as a $1 trillion company, is the first one in the world. Super excited. It's just insane that, that a company made it to a trillion. And, and it's also insane that it was a tech company that made it to a trillion dollars. And now it's like other tech companies, giant tech companies have this like post goal that they, they can reach and try to be Amazon, Apple. I know they're looking at it and they're, they're working to be Apple on that trillion. So it makes it excited. They're gonna. Hopefully they come out with new technology. But what, what does this $1 trillion company means for us as investors? Well, if you own Apple stocks, that's great. But overall, if people who are investing on index funds, it's good to know that Apple, now with this evaluation, only covers 5% of the S&P 500, which is a significant amount to consider um, the S&P has a, a lot of companies in. Should we worry that Apple has 5% on the S&P 500 evaluation, total evaluation? Not really. Apple's been the most valuable company since 2012. And they're more into the retail. So even if they're a giant tech, it's not something that we should be worrying about. So it's just, it's just exciting that they made it to a trillion dollars. Also, if you consider the S&P 500, also has Apple, uh, Amazon, Google, Microsoft, and all those giant tech companies cover around 12% of the whole total value of the S&P. And that's not something a lot of like Warren Buffett worries that tech companies always disappear, like they're just bubbles sometimes. And we shouldn't worry about these tech companies because most of them stretch to other avenues like Amazon is doing uh, food now and, and and with Wall Street, with uh, Whole Foods and all these companies are, are more retail now and they have like buildings where the people can go in which is super exciting like it's not like American on, online if you guys remember that a long time ago it was they, they were just a bubble there was an article on the Wall Street Journal called to shop mind the percentages it's about how grocery stores and consumer stores are tricking uh, it's not really tricking it's just uh playing with the percentage numbers and, and confusing some some consumers to buy stuff that they don't really need but they make it excited for them to to purchase meaning they will put a gallon of ice cream for 33 percent off or they will offer you 50 percent uh, more ice cream for the same price and, and at the end of the day customers are not realizing that they actually pay more when, when they choose the 50% more ice cream so it's a little trick because you take 50% or 33% off uh, from from the original price you, you you only get stuck on the number of 50% more ice cream for the same price retail price but you're not realizing that if you take the 33% discount is gonna be cheaper for you guys in the long run but we always like free stuff, so they're playing with our psychology there too. Also, the biggest uh, trick or, or um, sway they, they got on us is that 
is the double discount. So if you buy like a suit for a thousand dollars and they say that it's forty percent off, they're giving it to you for six hundred, and that's okay. We a lot of us get that suit, but what they're doing with the double discount is like they say the suit is a thousand, and then they say it's gonna be twenty percent off, and then they're gonna take an additional twenty five percent making the suit at the end of the day six hundred dollars but you feel so good that they give you those double discounts those two discounts equaling 45 percent at the end of the day in your mind you think 45 percent oh my god but the thing that you need to understand about percentages is from that thousand the first 20 makes it to 800 and then from the, those 800 that 20 extra 25 makes it to 600 dollars suit so there's a few things that you need to be careful when you go shopping i know we like free stuff that's how they get us and those double discounts just be careful with those for the last article guys craft hands this is my one of my favorite companies just because it was my first stock that i bought years ago and and i always love their product their ketchup anything they made i liked and so i bought them and I, i've been holding them for a long time term now and for the past couple quarters and now i've been doing so well uh the, the dip around 20 percent so but on friday they have some great news for you us and as an investors it's a great opportunity they said on friday that they're gonna invest 300 million dollars on marketing and new products so r d and it's, you guys know when when companies have, are putting money on the research and development area you know good stuff's gonna come out hopefully not always and when they put on marketing you know that can be iffy but i'm just excited that they are trying new stuff and as as my first company that i bought i want them to win because that way i win too but super excited about that they also said they're gonna hire um with the same money they're gonna be hiring some sales people to work with uh, stores directly. Also, they're gonna work on being more e-commerce, doing things more online. I wanna see how that works. And if that works, they're gonna be, they're hoping for more uh, cutting expenses. And they cut that, that middle man and it's super exciting to see them grow. They're already growing. They're, they're up of around 5% since Friday. So super excited about that. Let's see how it goes. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next Monday with more news. And always remember, keep it simple. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Real Simple Chew.